I saw this video by well-known globe troll Wolfie in Australia, and here you see him in this very dinky airplane, more like a car with wings. This bucket of bolts, this little tin can that he's flying around in, who tries to downplay the whole Coriolis effect, so-called effect of the spinning ball earth, as you see here. And basically, when it comes down to it, when the earth spins, and say when a bird flies from north to south, you're going to be off course based on the spinning of the earth. Again, Wolfie tries to downplay this effect. And let's get right to it with this video clip. The aircraft was flying from Bali to Perth with the atmosphere matching the rotation of the earth perfectly and the aircraft making no adjustment. As it continued moving south, it would be moving into air that has a lower lateral velocity and that would cause the aircraft to begin moving with the air. And let's just stop it right there. What Wolfie said is absolutely ridiculous. And let's take a look at this map for reference, where Bali is just south of the so-called equator. So, again, the ball is supposedly spinning 1,100 miles an hour at the equator. So it's not going to be much of a difference when you're at Bali with the supposed rotation of the Earth. And with the supposed rotating ball Earth at Perth, the Earth is supposedly spinning approximately seven to 800 miles an hour. So you go from, say, 1,000 miles an hour to seven to 800 miles per hour when it comes to the so-called spin of the Earth. And what he's saying is when the plane flies south, due to the lateral rotation, as you get lower, it slows down, and the plane can just move along with the atmosphere. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now let's take a look at this one website when it comes to the Coriolis effect. And it says here, objects moving above Earth's surface are subject to what is known as the Coriolis effect. An object moving a great distance over the Earth at a particular destination must compensate for the rotation of the Earth changing the position of its destination. So they give an example here with this bird, where you can drag this bird down. So if it tried to, say for example, fly straight down to the tropics of Arambas, but what happened is, of course, due to the so-called spin of the Earth, it would be way off course. So, again, it gets back to Wolfie when he says, basically, the plane would move with the Earth's atmosphere, which is absolutely ridiculous. So the contradictions and the lies being told by Wolfie are obvious. Now, let's take a listen to this commercial pilot that flies huge airplanes, unlike this goof in this little, again, dinky little airplane that just flies locally, not someone that flies long distances above this flat earth. Let's take a listen to what is said here. At 143 knots, so that's quite fast. So, I mean, the, the movement in the earth isn't, it's not negligible. It's basically standing still as compared to our motion at that moment. That's, that's your experience? Yeah. Yeah. Because they tell us, you know, that at least in the U.S., the ground's moving at about 700 miles an hour left to right. And I was thinking that's kind of odd if you're landing, going north, you know, or moving in the north direction. That's not, and that, yeah, no, the ground looks to us like it's standing still. So. Yeah, not an issue, huh? Yeah. So you just heard that from that pilot. Basically, Earth is standing still. And again, a really important point to make is you can tell this pilot doesn't even put the so-called spin of the Earth into consideration whatsoever when she's flying a plane. Now let's take a look at this clip as well and listen to what he says when asked about the so-called curvature from aboard an airplane. Take a listen. Um, did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature? No. No? There's no, no curvature? It, it's just all flat. Very interesting. A pilot says he does not see curvature when aboard an airplane while flying. And getting back to this particular pilot as well, talking about the runway basically being static, not moving. Ridiculous, considering we're supposedly living on this spinning ball Earth. Now let's take a look at this commercial airliner coming for a landing. For anybody to believe that this airplane is navigating on a so-called moving runway, as you see it here coming for a landing, absolutely ridiculous to believe a plane is attempting to land on a spinning ball earth. Give me a break. It's static. Obviously, this earth does not move. 
Just like it states in all these Bible verses, I'll read off a few. Here from Chronicles, he has fixed the earth firm, immovable. From Psalms, thou hast fixed the earth, immovable and firm. Again from Psalms, he has fixed the earth firm and immovable. So what it comes down to, what the Bible states matches our reality. I also came across this one website called Aero Students, a very detailed website from start to finish on aeronautics, flying airplanes, the basics of avionics. The history of avionics, I mean, it gives every type of detail that you like to know about airplanes. And it's about training future pilots. And what I found very interesting is the subject of flight itself. When in flight, it says, making assumptions that there is a flat Earth, Earth's curve is zero. Now, regarding the supposed spinning ball Earth, it says here, there is a non-rotating Earth, no Coriolis accelerations, and such are present and it goes on and on but the point is this is from basically an aeronautics students guide to flying so people some might say oh this is just one website well let's take a look here on nasa's official government website you can see here at the very top nasa.gov and let's scroll down here and let's take a look and this is from august 1988 i'm going to scroll down and let's take a look what it says here very interesting what it says regarding flying above earth it says right here this report documents the derivation and definition of a linear aircraft model for a rigid aircraft of constant mass flying over a flat non-rotating earth so there you go this is from nasa itself unbelievable and what do globe believers have to say about this they'll just turn a blind eye to the truth what is presented on NASA's official website. And obviously not interested in the truth, just defending their core beliefs, which they've been taught at five years old that we live on a spinning ball. Earth. Give me a break. And getting back to Wolfie, his downplaying of airplanes flying over the spinning ball earth and the Coriolis effect. Obviously he he's downplaying the Coriolis effect as a non-factor. non, a non That's because obviously Earth does not spin. There's no ball earth whatsoever so when it comes to these globe trolls there's no debunking the flat earth truth mit the army research laboratory flying over a flat non-rotating earth flat earth with a flat earth assumption non-rotating flat earth a flat non-rotating earth may be assumed a flat and non-rotating assuming a flat earth flat non-rotating Earth, a non-rotating Earth. Flat, non-rotating Earth validity of flat Earth based on a flat Earth assumption for a flat Earth and a flat atmosphere. Flat, non-rotating Earth. The flat Earth model. Propagation of electromagnetic fields over... Hey, I just want to say thanks for the right. smooth flight. Right. I okay. think I have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at to a degree? Three degrees for the curvature of the Earth. Oh, for the Earth? Because yeah, I would just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah. But yeah. Do you have to keep like kind of going down because? No, we actually have to lose up. They get twice. Really? Because I was reading some stuff on the flat Earth that made a lot of sense. Have you looked into it? This one. This one. Sorry. On the, I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat Earth. Okay, yeah, 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 true, true. That's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. All right. Hey, God bless, brother. All right, have a good one. You too.